We have an aging population and AI offers the potential for people to age independently in their own homes. One example is people like to cook, so we don't want to take that away from them. In these situations, we would like to create technology that does just enough so that they can continue to do what they used to enjoy and still be in control of what they're doing and not subservient to the machine. So what's really important as we move the technology from the lab to the real world is that we ensure that the technology that we're developing is acceptable but also is going to be used for ethical purposes. The approach that we, I think we need to take is where we bring in the person and we kind of really understand where they're coming from, what is it that we're trying to solve so that then we build the right technology. What we care about is having, for instance, care-driven technology with the person at the center. One use of data-driven AI would be to have instrumented homes that collects data about individuals and their normal behavior. And then the AI could detect when there is deviation from that that indicates that potentially something is going wrong. At the moment, AI is developing so rapidly that the limit to what we can do to use it to help people is just our own imagination.